Hi MC, how are you doing? I saw your uh, video on uh, the friend zone, I, so I thought I'd uh, drop off a little uh, video comment of my own. So this is a video response to your video. Uh, I've had some experience with the friend zones, and, and I've got kind of uh, opinions about it. Of course, I'm a geek, so I would obviously have opinions about it. Uh, so here's uh, not only an opinion, but more my experiences with the friend zone and the way I sort of approach it. Uh, I'm not angry at you, I'm not upset, I'm not going to be unsubscribing or anything like that, so don't have to worry about that because I also see your uh, uh, concern. You get this sort of little uh, thing there that wonders what your friends are always thinking about. Well, you think about a variety of different things uh, about you in terms of, uh, I mean, there are some guys who are obviously, you know, huh cute little 14 year old girl it's, you know but uh, that's not always the case my case is uh, you kind of got geek experience it's kind of like uh, high it's kind of like school gym you know uh, where you divide up uh, into teams you got two team captains and uh, everyone chooses from a whole group of kids and you always get the one or two left over that the teacher forces you to take uh, I was always that person that was uh, sort of the teacher forced one kid or another, one of the team captains, to take. I was forced onto a particular team, and then, more often than not, uh, I was either benched or uh, completely ignored and left out. So, that was basically my experience. And this is the way kind of I view geeks in terms of the boy-girl relationship. Uh, we're, the, 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 if you want to call it the game, the dating game, uh, it's the same team, th team thing again. You're ne as a geek, you're really not going to be chosen as the first choice. More often than not, you're going to be last. You're going to be sort of the uh, the consolation prize, if at all. <laughs> and more often than not, uh, the only the only relationship we will ever have, and this is my experience, is that you always be in the friend zone. You're never going to be anything more than just a friend. Uh, so for myself and being a geek and not having any particular peer group that's okay with me you know uh, uh, I have friends all over the place my, my friends kind of come from uh, the diff various different walks of life as I've gone into different things and hung out with, with uh, the people who were in that environment anyways that's where you sort of pick up your friends and that's how I've made all my friends so it's not a matter of that uh, I've got a particular grouping of friends or uh, <laughs> call it a, you know, a peer group. I don't have a peer group. Uh, my friends are from all over the place. They're from different walks of life. They're from different groups. And uh, just watching a bee. There's a bee in the tree. <laughs> uh, and I don't expect... And this is maybe a, 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 one of the flaws of this. I don't expect to ever get out of the friend zone. Uh, because I don't see myself as being anything spectacular in terms of a catch for a guy. Uh, I'm kind of as a, that last person you would choose. Uh, that's on the, that, sort of using that team analogy. So, and because, again, I don't have any... I don't have a particular peer group, you can't really be choosy when it comes to your friends it, it's, it's you kind of enjoy the person's company as they come along at some point in time they're going to leave that's sort of been my experience I've had friends for not a long time but basically you have I'll have one friend will come for a while for maybe a couple of years and then they'll go off and do whatever they're doing doing the rest of their lives and I'll never really see them again and so you kind of learn to enjoy the time you have with a friend or the friends that you have uh however you've met them, uh, as friends for the time you're going to have with them. And then because your the life is simply going to move on, and that's the way it's going to be. Oh, this, for me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like that, you know, kind of forever. That's the kind of the, that's the kind of the thing that happens on a regular basis. And the only way out of the friend zone for me is if you can spend more than a half hour hanging out with me as a friend, then only from the friend zone do things as friends 
you become better friends, like as best friends and so on and so forth. And then from there on top of best friend, then you get into the more of the, you know, the, the more relation. For me, dating is completely out of the game because I'm not, I'm not that type of, I'm not a chocolate and flower type of person. Uh, I've never really sort of been into there. I've never had access to that. Most girls have been way out of my league. So, uh, I said, for me, the friend zone is fine. It doesn't bother me at all. That's what I more or less expect. Other girls, even though I've, you know, I've been in the friend zone, they've had other th thoughts in their mind after we've been in the friend zone for a while. And they try to try to drop hints. And they, this is what I've been told afterwards. After they found and said, well, why didn't you get the hint? Why didn't you understand that they wanted something more with you? I said, because I've been in the friend zone. And unless you tell me you want more than just the friend zone, because I've been rejected before, that this is, and you've told me this is all you want, unless you tell me you want more, then all, that's all that's going to be is it's going to be the friend zone. And so it's not going it, to, it, when I go, it, it's, it's to say, oh, I see you're alone, you're by yourself, do you want to hang out together? It's not from a dating perspective, it's just, you're alone, you're by yourself, do you want someone to hang out with? And that's all it is. It doesn't mean anything more than that. If you want more than that, then you've got to sort of let me know and say, you know, I've had a good time hanging out, we should hang out a lot more. <laughs> you know, and that's sort of the way things would go from, from there. But uh, in terms of the friend zone, from a geek perspective, that's as good as it's going to get. And so having the friends I have, I appreciate them. I have appreciate having you as a friend. And sort of, you know, as we bump into each other on the internet and sort of, you know, say hello and, you know, exchange these videos back and forth. Uh, well, not necessarily dropping off videos. You've, you've commented back and forth, uh, in terms of writing. You haven't really put a video back, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it's, in my mind, it's that we have this sort of an acquaintance friendship type of thing going on anyways. I don't know how you feel about this, but uh, uh, I got you on my, uh, on my friend, and my friend list box on my first, on my page. You're in my box of, uh, friends channel, so. Anyways, uh, I always think of you as a friend. That's when, if you're wondering what I'm thinking about you, I think of you as a friend. And I hope, uh, things, you know, get better for you, you know. Think, this is the way life is sometimes. Alright, take it easy.